Hello everyone, this is a quick over review of the Max Hall 527 two bike trailer hitch. I purchased this on Amazon, cost about $86, shipped to my door. So far, I've driven 10 miles, well about 5 miles, a little bit on the highway, a little bit on the roads, and I like it. Let's do a quick review of it. It's a 2 inch receiver, so it goes into a 2 inch hitch. You can see the wobble. Two inch receiver the bike that's on right now is a medium size men's men's medium size 29er these are 29 inch tires so i believe they listed that it only fits up to 27 but you can see here it fits the 29 perfectly very very nice i like it <laughs> release here adjustment right here this is a safety lock so this thing doesn't turn let's talk about this so this is a two bike platform but where's the other two bike where's the other platform so it does come with another piece of this two more pieces of this and another hook but i've taken it off because i'm only going to use this for one bike so you can just take them out put them in storage save them for later or you can use it here's another nice thing right here you can take this off right here and then the bike can now tilt <coughs> just like that this is the angle right here plenty of room for you to pop your tailgate show you guys that so far i love it i love it i love it I once purchased a roof rack from Amazon made by the same company, Max Hall, and I put it on the my 4Runner, and I, uh, it was really nice too, until I crashed the 4Runner. <coughs> so these are a quick release pin. <coughs> now if you don't want to use the quick release pin and you want it to be permanent, you can just, just buy bolts and, uh, bolts and washers and put them in there. <coughs> these legs right here, they slide out. So when you install this, the only tools you need is these tools right here, a socket to tighten this up. <coughs> this plate right here and this little U-bolt is for you to tighten this up to the hitch so that it's more so it's more stable. You can see how it doesn't shake right here. <coughs> the two inch the two inch tube doesn't shake because of this piece right here. It's holding this tube here to the frame. <coughs> so the only thing the only thing that wobbles is this piece here, <coughs> which is wobbling from here. Now these legs here, they come out. You can release these pins and they, you can take them out for easy storage. But what I'm gonna do is that, since I don't want these to be quick release, I'm gonna replace these right here with bolts. So I'm gonna put a bolt and washer, bolt and washer. And this piece here is a one piece right here. And this, this can also come out for storage. So I'm gonna put a bolt and bolt and bolt right here so they're permanent and so that people don't mess with it. You know, sometimes you might be in a parking lot, people might see this and they might wanna mess with it, take it off or just steal it. So I'm gonna replace those with bolts, but the only that's the only thing I'm gonna do. <coughs> Everything else is very nice. <coughs> you can release this right here, slide it up and down, depending on how big or how wide your bike is. And then uh, you can line it up with your tires. <coughs> Also come, the tires are held by these little straps. They're really, really nice and durable. So I like it. I like it, I like it. So for my setup, it's very easy. It's, for my setup, I can uh, take this off and unscrew it and then this hook will go up. But for me, it's much easier if I just release this. If I release this pin and then slide this whole piece up, you guys see that? The bike now falls out. So that's much easier for me to do that way. But it depends on your setup. Yours is a bit different. For me, I just have to kind of press it till it lines up to that hole and then put the pin inside of it. Show you guys some detail. It's really nice. It's, the metal is really nice. The paint job, it's a nice paint job. I'm pretty sure it's going to get chipped off once and then. But so far, I like it. When I'm on the highway, it doesn't rock too much. When you're on the right highway, it rocks just a little bit. And I was on the bumpy roads. 
I was driving fast on the bumper roads just to see how it is and it's not bad at all the bike is really really secure it's much better than the other roof uh, the other bike racks where they hold it just right here I used to have those kind the, the bike rack where it has two posts and it just holds it by the top frame they're nice but again um, those are nice but then in your steering wheel your front your steering is always your front tire is always flopping around <coughs> The frame always flop around and i really like this setup because your bike is on a your bike's on a platform secured by two straps and also secured by a third point so it makes me feel more confidence when i'm traveling on the highway or doing long distance <laughs> if i plan to do any long distance travel like i'm gonna travel for two three hundred miles on the highway i will probably go ahead and put another ratchet strap just to secure it down but other than that man i'm pretty confident that this thing here is gonna hold my bike and so far i like it you guys are probably wondering why why i don't just throw in the truck well the reason why i i don't want to throw in the truck because when i'm doing travels i might be packing my camping gear or might be going fishing i might have a st lot of stuff in my trunk so it's nice to have an addi additional uh bike rack to carry my bike with me so that's the reason why i bought this i was gonna buy one on facebook market on craigslist but then most of those most of those that are new spike rack they're costing people are wanting 50 bucks 70 bucks already so for 86 dollars i might as well just buy something new and something that i like and this is something that i was looking for something where the bike sits on a platform and secure down really nice so this is what i like i hope you guys enjoy this little overview and uh this is the max hall 227 or something like that and this is not a sponsored video i just enjoy their product and I figure <coughs> i make this video to help you guys really really nice very easy to assemble you can get this assembled within 15 minutes one person is all you need and uh assemble it adjust your bikes once you're done once you're done adjusting you're pretty much set for the way it is and all you got to do is just take that post off take your bike off un unloosen the straps and you're pretty much good to go hope you guys enjoyed this little quick review if you guys got any questions leave in the comment section below Catch you guys next time.